Jake. It's getting dark outside. And it's Monday. Do you know what that means? We gotta go chase storms. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's, go. Let's lead the way. Hey, don't. No, we're not attacking. <laughs> oh, boy. Go, go, go. Hi, I'm short and I guess I forgot that as I set this up, but hey, this is another angle. Yay. Um, I was not gonna vlog today because I was really sick Sunday. Oh, hi, welcome to a weekly reading vlog. <laughs> okay, so it is third, nope. <laughs> Wednesday, May 26th, we're gonna get through this together. <laughs> Oh my god, say it with me. So, I was not planning on actually vlogging today. I was thinking, hmm, maybe, maybe it'll strike my fancy tomorrow. I'm acting way more okay than I actually am right now, by the way. Like I said, I was super sick on Sunday and Monday, and then yesterday, it just, <laughs> it's only getting worse, which is the theme for the past two years, and um, I called into work which I don't really do, so that was fun. It was fresh, but it's going away now, and I usually get a allergy slash cold combo every year at this time. The only reason I think I hadn't got it last year was we were all wearing masks and we were all staying home, but now, you know, we're in school and masks aren't a thing in Texas, so yeah. I wear mine, but whew, my mask is working overtime. Okay, she's tired and I get it. I just got a package to my door from the queen. Now, like I said, I wasn't gonna vlog this morning or this, this afternoon because I just didn't feel like it. I was, I'm about to get on the treadmill and do a little walkie walkie, but I do have some reading updates, so might as well do that. But, package to the door, opened it, confused. What is this? I didn't order anything for once. Starts out with an expletive. That's how I know it's my queen. I can't say it on this channel, but. So, hey, B. <laughs> this is so flipping cute that I needed you to have it. Rose gold, a moment. Adjustable, so fun. Ergonomic, so fresh. Thanks for all the advice and random video chats. Enjoy from Katie. Y'all already know which Katie. This is the only Katie I know. <sighs> my queen, Katie Coulson. And when the queen summons, this is me bowing, I'm here to perform, okay? So I don't know what this is, but it's ergonomic and it's rose gold and it's adjustable, so. Honestly, it could be a lot of things. What is this? This looks high tech. I am not. It's kind of cute though. It is rose gold. I do love rose gold. Is that something I talk about a lot? Are y'all aware of how much I enjoy rose gold? Look at this. It's like a, I really do feel like I'm in a, oh, how do I adjust it though? Let me not break it on camera. Let me get my much uh, smarter partner to help me figure out how to do this. Or do you literally just pull it? Okay. I have a degree, okay? I know a thing or two about a thing or two because I've seen a thing or two. This is so cool. Do I need to buy a laptop now? I don't have one. I do have one from work, ow, that I guess I could use this for at work, but does it deserve this cute of a stand? That's debatable, but this is adorable. Honestly, I could finesse it is like taking strength <gasps> this i could put my ipad on it though because my ipad is the size of a freaking laptop did i mean to do that no has it worked out thus far for some reason yes um thank you katie for this this is this is gonna be the new ipad thing <gasps> oh my god and i can put it on that table right there by my window you know the one that's like the shot of all my tbr books for the 24-hour readathon when i don't finish any books that one, and I could put a point on this back side. 
I'm gonna do it. Oh, hello. I'm gonna do it. So anyways, thank you so much, Katie. That is like so nice and it was a genuine surprise. Like I could not believe there's a package. But uh, what else, what else? I guess let's talk about reading. So, I just finished, I don't think the book is in here with me. No, it's not. So I just finished Good Girl, Bad Blood, which is the sequel to A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. A Good Girl's Guide to Murder is the book where she basically decides that these dogs are gonna lose their minds across the way. She's going to solve this murder where it's assumed that the boyfriend of a girl murdered her and then unalived himself. And there are people in my front yard. Oh my God, are they fighting? We have a bunch of teenagers that live next door and honestly, they have so much drama. When I was in high school, I didn't do anything. I edited the yearbook and I stayed home. <laughs> Uh, that I don't this is a life I don't understand anyways I never know what's going on back to murder so she decides she's gonna solve it because she doesn't think that that's actually how it went down and she ends up doing that and I will not spoil obviously for the first book but the second book then follows someone who is close to her whose brother has gone missing and so they want to utilize her skills and the podcast she's built from this to help find that brother there you go. So this is five stars. This is the only thriller that has made me like scared, edge of my seat, and cry. Every time. Cried in the first book. If you've read it, you know why. I cried the very beginning of this book because she talked about the sound of something greeting you when you get home and how she had to get used to that not happening anymore. And I'm literally going to tear up right now because my one is like right here like right there okay so yeah it's great i teared up at the end of this one also again <laughs> because the ending was just so good like i have to say i don't want to say that i go into these with the mindset of like oh they're just ya but i will say the things that i like in thrillers i feel are difficult for ya to tackle because there are only so many dark like dark topics that YA can cover considering the target audience because some of them may not apply to that target audience and may feel really weird others of them just wouldn't be handled the same way if that makes sense and I'm like I mean like trauma and serious conversations in regards to like childhood things so i guess why i find that more in adult thrillers is because i'm talking about more of like 20 30 years past and you're just now dealing with childhood things i just find that interesting and typically like the plot twists that come out of that are very interesting just how the mind works with all of those things but when you're in ya they're not really old enough to have had that like time in between this thing happening to them and then this revelation that happens during the thriller moments that's really all i mean ya thrillers are still very good at having serious conversations and i very much reject the idea that ya books cannot have serious adult conversations just in a ya setting i think that they do have those serious conversations it's just not for adults it's for the target audience which are young adults so while they may not achieve what an adult reader would want to see they achieve what they're meant to do which is the targeted audience you know what I'm that's a whole rant because I think it's some of the critiques about YA are just like well it's not meant for you so that's why you didn't like it but that is, I'm pointing that out to say that's not the critique of this one. Honestly, there's really no critique of this one. I'm saying that this one did it so well that I was shocked. Just because I haven't read one that's done it like this. And I won't, it's a spoiler of what it is. But it was just very interesting. And honestly, the twist I feel like could open up this, I feel like the Girl Girl's Guide to Murder universe is just expanding. <laughs> It just keeps growing and I love it and I love this book and I just really recommend it to anybody who does and also thank y'all for the super sweet reaction to the cozy mystery like little talk thing I had in last week's vlog about being nervous about talking about that because I just didn't think anyone would find it interesting 
noted, <laughs> I mean, I was going to talk about whatever books I was reading anyways and read whatever I want to anyways. I just was like, going to be sad if people aren't interested. But thank you for backing me up and letting me know. Shut up and start talking because we're interested. Got it. Heard. So, I am reading the second book in the Misfortune series, which is a cozy mystery by, is it Jana DeLeon? And it is about a CIA agent who had her cover blown when she was overseas doing a mission because she, you know, pew pewed someone and she definitely wasn't supposed to, but it was for a good reason to be fair. But she gets placed into this tiny little town in sinful Louisiana, which is a brilliant name. And it's just, I feel like if you're Southern, the polite rudeness that Southern women can pull off, like the whole bless your heart thing, that's the whole vibe of this series. And it is so good. Like, I just love it. I just love it. It's so funny. It's so clever. It's definitely cozy. It feels like each book is an episode. And so I'm actually flying through them. I'm almost done with the second one. So I'm going to probably finish that on the treadmill. And then I'm going to buy the next one and just keep reading. My plan is to... My partner gets off work at 5. And it's 427 right now. So my plan is to just walk until then. Um, until the, they get home. Because I have to provide dinner which means I'm gonna go purchase it, <laughs> not cook it, because that would be a travesty. And uh, yeah, that's, that's the plan. So I'll definitely be able to finish the second book in that time and then start the third one. So I'm having a great time. Are y'all having a great time? How is your Wednesday going? Because I thought it was Monday, so <laughs> that's how mine's going. <laughs> Are too big. Can I get some comfort, please? I guess I should have been honest. It breaks in my heart. It's raining down, baby. I'm like a river that's overflowed. The sooner you know it, the less do we hurt. Let me speak the truth. Too late, but I can see past the rain. Won't you lay it on me? Turn the page and burn it. Let's make up a big bonfire on the beach with the stars as our lighters and throw our problems in the Hi guys <laughs> so I am surrounded by a mess right now no I don't just mean my life thank you for asking I mean all the books that I just had out to film my uh, what's it called what's it called might June TBR so it's it is a mess what I need to do now what I'm actually gonna do is get 
pictures of them. I'm going to take pictures of the stacks so that I can make my little envelope for my reading journal where I pull out the books if I don't know what I want to read, if I can't tell what I want to read. Because this month, I'm going to really try really, really hard to stick to this TBR. I think that that's going to come around to bite me in the butt, but I don't have school for the majority of this month, so I should in theory work out. We will have to see. But, almost just fell. <laughs> but you know what? I just remembered, I've done that in a vlog before, so that wouldn't have been anything new. But I got a package. Let me see, where is the letter on one of these things? Okay, here, it's on, it's on this one. I got an Amazon package with three freaking books in it. So first of all, Chianti, thank you so much. I, like, you can ask my partner, which I mean, when we have a cooking segment again, then you can ask them, that I did cry <laughs> while reading this note because it was so nice and I was having a baby anxiety attack when the doorbell rang and we got this package. So it was like perfect timing and you didn't even know because how would you know? Because it was literally happening like at the moment. But still, thank you so much. So let's open the books. But it says, um, I just wanted to gift you something because I've been having a tough time recently and your videos are the only thing helping me get through it. I hope you enjoy your gifts. <laughs> it's so nice because I've been having a really tough time and so honestly the thing that's been getting me through it is putting up the videos and talking to you guys in the comments which I know that I've been a little late on replying to comments than I typically am. Typically, you know, like the day of I reply to all the comments that are from that day but I've been like a day or two late to replying to them but this is not like a... Oh my god, I'm getting so many comments. Like, I'm just swamped. It's not that. It's, um, I can't manage my time <laughs> at all. And I am stressed with the end of the school year. And so uh, when I get home from work, I just shut brain off and I pull up iPad and I just, I reply to comments. So I just want to say that I am getting to them. It will go back to the uh, regular schedule as soon as school is over, which is a week. A week, you guys, a week. We can do this. Uh, but um, yeah, I just wanted to say that's that's why. But the comments have been getting me through this stressful time because it's so nice to just talk to people about books and you guys are always the sweetest and it's just great. So thank you guys and thank you. Oh my god, I almost just accosted myself with this book tag. But thank you. And these are so, I love, like, you did not have to get them wrapped, but they're so pretty. What if some of these books I want to read on my June TBR and I just filmed them? That'd be so bad. <gasps> okay, yes, okay. I have heard a lot about this book. I've heard a lot of good things. And I put it on my list because I saw this TikTok fan edit where basically, okay, I've never read Howl's Moving Castle. That's not what this is. But it had the same vibe of the guy that everyone's in love with, but he was like human because he was not animated is what I mean. And I was just like, hello, who are you? He just looked mysterious and brody. Broody? Brody? Broody? There's two O's in that. Come on. Hello. But it is A Winter's Promise. And I, like I said, have heard nothing but good things about this. I think, is this a translated book? Because I think I saw that. But I'm not 100% sure. Oh yeah. It is translated. Oh, that's kind of cool. Ooh, from French. Wee oui, wee. Oui. Um, but the part, let me get to it because there's like, you know, the whole sidebar. But I want to read you the part that made me interested when I actually looked it up. Uh, introduces reader to a remarkable heroine and to the richly imagined universe of the arcs, floating celestial islands governed by the spirits of immortal ancestors. Hello. It's a fantastical story of intrigue and suspense, and I love suspense. I've never read his dark materials, which is something that they relate this to, but I have read Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard, and I liked it. And I've heard nothing but good things about N.K. Jemisin's The Broken Earth series, so... I mean, I feel like those are two very good series to be related to as far as, like, how good this is. And I just think this copy is beautiful. But I think it is, I mean, obviously, winter. I think it's a winter book, so I may save that for when it's cold here. But apparently, with global warming, it snows in Texas now. So this is going to be great. I'll do a whole vlog with it. <laughs> Hopefully, in that vlog, um, the power stays on this time. Because... We don't need that again. So the next one is a Brando Sando, and it is Elantris. It is the 10th anniversary author's 
Definitive Edition. 10,000 words of bonus content, Lord. And this man, listen, he writes a lot, so can't imagine what's on that. You know what, though? I love, I love the pages that his books have. When any other book does these, like, Bible pages, I don't like it. But when he does it, I'm like, you know what? Fair enough. Fair enough. Because this is a skinny book. Well, it looks skinny. But let's see. It's almost 600 pages. This is almost 600 pages. <laughs> Ridiculous. But thank you for getting me this. I am so excited to read this. My goal for probably... It's, it's like a 10-year goal because I know myself, first of all, uh, is to read all of his books. So I have caught up on, you know, the whole two books in Skyward series. <laughs> ah, and I've read The Way of Kings. So we are <laughs> making progress. And then the last one is in this little guy. Oh, it's a Cuban girl's guide to tea and tomorrow. I think this is so cute. Um, I had a student that actually wanted to read this. She mentioned it a couple times. And so I put it on my list as a reminder to me. Um, that I wanted to try it but then when I asked for recommendations on Instagram about books that have a lot of food in them because I really like YA Contemporary that has a lot of food kind of like uh, With the Fire and High by Elizabeth Acevedo I got recommended this a bunch of times so I bumped it up on my personal list and my classroom list but now I have it so now I can read it and she can read it so you kind of gave two people a gift <laughs> so thank you that's really sweet of you it's part of Reese's YA book club I guess Reese Witherspoon? Oh yeah, she does have a YA book club. I've always liked her mysteries and thrillers that she picks, so maybe I would enjoy her YA as well. But thank you so much again for sending me these books. They seriously made my day so much better yesterday, which is bad. So I hope you see this. I hope that you see this part of the video <laughs> so that you can see that um, you made my day. And it was really sweet of you. And thank you very very much so now oh okay well i need to go put all of the notes into these books so i'll do that afterwards but i need to update too because i finished a book so i finished is it lethal bayou beauty bayou bayou beauty whatever the second book in the jana de Leon series the misfortune series which is that cozy mystery that i was talking about last week i finished that and now i'm halfway through the third one <laughs> I haven't updated you in a little bit, so now it's Saturday, and I am already, you know, making my way through the third one, and I really like it. The series is great. Um, I'm going to slow down a little bit with it, though, because I need to film a 24-hour readathon today for a video that's going to be coming out in June. June. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to go now so that I can update for that, and then I'm going to put these notes in these books because... I'm very happy and excited to have them and then we will be reading for the rest of the day and I will update you tomorrow when the 24 hour readathon has not commenced, finished. Maybe my next book will be a dictionary. <laughs> I had Bye. Life is a winding road, no telling where it goes. Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Let figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground And I, I really wanna know, really wanna know If I, let figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down
ground I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Even if the sky is falling down The stars come to shine when it's dark from so far away show us where we are what makes the sun go to sleep every night and what's it dreaming of okay hello everyone this is sunday and I got my coffee. Yes, we love it. We love it. I stayed up way too late last night reading a book for the other reading vlog that I was mentioning. But I also decided to read a little bit more of the third book in the Cozy Mystery series that I am reading. And I am really liking it. I think it's really cute. But the other book that I want to talk about is actually Falling Kingdoms. I started this for June because it is the 30th. So I'm not going to finish it before then. But... This, I always pitch it basically as if Game of Thrones was filmed in such a way of a reality television show, like the Real Housewives franchises kind of thing, because while it does have these people fighting to conquer all the kingdoms and all whatever, um, I think that it is so dramatic and the way it's done is way more reality TV show-esque. It's not as heavy or I don't want to say it's not as strategic, but it's just not as like the characters themselves aren't as clever, I think, as I have heard Game of Thrones is. Now, I've never read nor watched Game of Thrones. Actually, I take that back. The only thing I've watched is Some Girl Eat a Heart and then I've watched the last season in its entirety and that's just because my family and my partner really liked it and they were watching it and they were making food themed to the episodes every week and I just wanted to eat that. So I did. I, I was not into the show though. I thought it was weird. But love it if you love it. I just think that this book is really fun and if you either didn't like Game of Thrones, don't like the book, or you did and you want like a less intense version, recommend this. I have read all except for the last book in this series because I'm not ready. So I am hoping my goal, it's like my one goal for June is to read this entire series again and then read the last book finally because I need to know how it ends. The series is so good. Every single book ends in a cliffhanger. The dramatics are just over the top. I'm talking, we have like an evil blood king. Like he is just too much, I tell you. So I'm going to go read some more of that and I'll catch you guys later. Hello everyone. I have read nothing. I edited a vlog though, so I win. And um, dang, I'm pale. But it's the only shade I have in stock. Um, we are headed out into the universe, into the world, to see a quiet place too. Um, I look like a soccer mom who isn't ready to grow up because Ariana Grande hairstyle is still in in my household. 
anyways we are gonna go so I'm excited yeah that's it that's that's the update Okay, hi guys. So we are home and I have a live stream that I want to get to. One of the commentary channels that I like to watch on YouTube. It's commentary on stuff I really don't even know anything about. But she's doing a live stream about Gabby Hanna. <laughs> so I guess I'm going to learn about that today. Uh, and I'm going to go watch that. I just like the way that she talks and I feel like she has a very calming presence. And I just want to listen in the background while I either I'm thinking of reading some Heartstopper or hmm, maybe I'll continue on with the cozy mystery. But I just wanted to hop on just in case I do not update again. Just to say that the emoji of the day, I think I said it. I'm not sure if I did, but it's going to be a rainbow. I'm going to do the emoji of the day to be a rainbow. Um, emoji for all of June because I love me, I love ye, she, he, they, all of everyone. I love everyone and I love our rainbow and our month most of all. So yes, that's going to be the emoji. I'll say it every video still, but just so you know, spoiler alert, it's going to be a rainbow because <laughs> why wouldn't it be? Bonus points if you make a rainbow out of hearts. I'll be replying back with a rainbow out of hearts, just so you know. But, um, I got these clear mugs to make hot coffee in, specifically the oat milk lattes that we make at home with our new machine. And I did that because I like the way they look in pictures. I kind of want to, like, step up my Instagram game a little bit this summer just by taking a bunch of pictures and editing them beforehand so that I can post more frequently. Kind of as a experiment to see how... I don't understand how Instagram algorithm works. I feel like everyone's bumping around on YouTube trying to figure it out and no one can, but I feel like the true one that no one understands is Instagram. It just makes no sense to me at all. So I'm going to just post a bunch and see what happens. <laughs> I also miss posting on Instagram regularly. Like, I enjoy taking pictures. It's really fun to put on an audiobook, take pictures, and edit them, and just, like, check off each box. So that's what I'll be doing this summer. But I got these clear coffee mugs because I wanted to include them because I think they look really nice in some of the planner Instagrams that I follow. They also, I'm not gonna lie, I did buy them because for B-roll, I want to make lattes sometimes. But I feel like showing the coffee being put into my Yeti mug is like not peak aesthetics. So I bought these clear mugs because what am I if not a consumer? <laughs> Honestly. But I'm excited. So we're going to go try those out now and then read some, watch a live stream, educate ourselves on what the heck is going on on TikTok with Gabby? I don't know. I've seen some weird TikToks though, and now they're starting to slowly make sense. But yeah, let's 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 go.